So we're going to work through a couple of these iron and copper names and formulas. Okay, so a couple things to remember. Both iron and copper and other elements, but these are the only ones you have to worry about, can have two different charges. Okay, and that means that your formulas will look different and we need a way to say that in our names. Okay, so we always need Roman numerals with iron and with copper. A second thing, you'll always be given either the name to work to the formula or the formula to work to the name. So you don't have to make these compounds up. You'll always have one or the other, okay? Um, third thing to think about is you always wanna stop with ions in the middle of your process, okay? So I think going from names to formulas is easier. Um, so we'll start with the easy thing. So this is iron two sulfide, okay? Um, let's start with the iron here. So this is Fe and the two tells me the charge of that iron. So that would be iron two plus. And then sulfide is got that ide, so it's telling me that it's just sulfur by itself. And if I wanna know the charge of that, I wanna take a look at my periodic table. So here's sulfur, it's in group 6A, so it's got a charge of negative two, okay? I can see that those charges match each other or balance each other out, so then my formula would just be FES, okay? Um, two plus, two minus comes together. Iron three now, okay? So now we have iron with a three positive charge, and that's because of this Roman numeral three here, okay? Sulfide, again, S2 minus. These don't match exactly, so I can't just put them together. What you can do is crisscross your charges, and so this would be Fe subscript two, that's the number of iron atoms, and then three, so S3, okay? Um, so that is getting from your names to your formulas. Now, if we go in reverse, okay, if we go from the formula to the name, this is a little bit harder, but it's crucial. You have enough information here. It's just a bit of a puzzle going to the ions, okay? So start with what we know. Remember, sulfur was easy because we have it on the periodic table, right? Sulfur, when it's an ion, is sulfide, and it'll always be negative two. So I know on this that I have S2 minus, and then I know that I have the one copper ion here, okay? The one copper ion has to balance out the charge um, of the sulfide here, okay? So if this is two negative and I have one copper, then my copper must have a two positive charge so that this two positive here is able to balance out this two negative. When I go to write the name then, I'm going to write copper and then that charge, oops, that charge becomes the Roman numeral, so it's two. And then I write sulfide. Again, sulfide because it's just the sulfur by itself, okay? Last one, okay? So now we can see this is also gonna be a copper sulfide, but a little bit different. So take the sulfide, we always know that first, work our puzzle backwards from there. This time it might help to actually write that there's two coppers, okay? So there's two coppers, Together, they need to match up to the charge of this two negative. So together, they need to have a total of a two positive charge. Each of them individually, therefore, must have a positive one charge, which will give me that total of two negative, okay? When I go to write that, this is gonna then be copper one, remember this charge is what becomes that Roman numeral, and then sulfide is easy, okay? Something else that will usually work here as you're figuring out ions is to take the subscripts. This would be a one here, so take the subscripts and cross them up, and that would give you copper plus and sulfide two minus, okay? But you always have to check this with the periodic table, all right? So you can see that iron two tells me the charge, and then I work with those ions to get the formula. Iron three tells me the charge, work with those ions to get the formula. If you have the formula, then start with usually the counter ion. Here it's the anion or negative ion. We know that for sure from maybe the periodic table, maybe from polyatomic ions. And from that, figure out what the charge needs to be on the copper. Here from this sulfur, these are the trickiest ones, um, from the sulfur, figure out what each copper needs as a charge so that two positive equals two negative, and then that charge is the Roman numeral. 
Note, the Roman numeral has nothing to do with the subscript here in terms of if this is a two, this is not a two. This one just depends on what the charge is. All right, so keep practicing. Hopefully that helps a little bit.